Hello, everybody. So talking about social media, talking about booking appointments, how to find clients, how to schedule appointments, and what if the client wants to message you to book something, kind of how does that work? So I did upload a new video inside the course where I talked to you guys about the methods that I use. So I use Facebook and Instagram. I do suggest using more than one, but not five different ones. So I do explain that a little bit inside the video, inside the course. Um, where why I suggest two methods, but I also suggest don't give your customers access to your email, phone number, Facebook, Instagram, because they're going to be confused on where to book and how to book. You're going to be confused on where you found those patients. And then also when you're going to schedule a follow-up appointment, you might have their chart, but then you don't know, well, do they prefer Instagram? Do they prefer texting? Do they prefer a phone call? I personally send everybody to my Facebook business page. I tell them to message me through there. They can also ask for an appointment through there. Even if somebody contact, contacts me from Instagram, I am more than happy to answer questions. But when they go to book an appointment, I send them a screenshot of my Facebook business page. And I say, please message me through there. That would be fantastic. That's how I keep all of my appointments together. It's nothing different than if you give them a link to book an appointment or you know, to give them a link for your contact info. I don't see it being any different. And that way I send them to my Facebook page because I update that one the most. So they can see before and after photos, they can see updates, they can see behind the scenes. So that's kind of why I do that. So I explain it a lot more inside the course of why I do that. And I also explain it so you don't wanna have your personal Facebook page attached to your business. You want a separate business one. So even if you're contacting clients, I don't suggest contacting them through your personal Facebook page because then they can see your profile and look up your personal info. Um, if you don't mind people knowing that stuff, that's okay, but I'm a private person. So I don't necessarily want them to know where I went to eat last week because I probably posted that on Facebook or you know, I don't want them to know certain things. So you could also set up another Facebook account for your business. So the first name could be your business name. You know, the, the last name could be the second part of your business name, depending on what your business name is. So that can make things a bit easier too. So I hope that helped you guys. Let me know if any questions, good luck, have fun, and I'll talk to you in the next one.